the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We're going to talk about some AI projects that I'm particularly bullish on. As many of you may be aware, AI tokens have been pumping. All right, guys. And um, I don't think they're going to stop yet. Okay, guys. Uh, for one of the main reasons is, is we have the, the NVIDIA 2024 conference which is coming up with many of which these AI projects will be attending. And... Um, yeah, obviously, you know, a lot of times when, you know, people are expecting, you know, um, a, a conference, uh, you know, the narrative does tend to pump. And uh, this one will be taking place on March the 18th. OK, guys, so I think we still continue to pump. We're on March the 12th at the moment. So I think we still continue to go up. And people are so bullish on this narrative, even to the point where they've created a meme corner or there's a meme corner that's being talked about by some big players in the game um, based on the CEO of NVIDIA. That's this guy here, Jensen, Jensen Wang or Wang, however you pronounce that, right? This is a meme coin that I called in my Patreon. Link is in the description if you want to come and join us uh, for the early calls. But I called this in the Patreon. Uh, we didn't get it till like 39 million. Okay, guys, it ended up going up to uh, 93 million uh, before it's pulled back. As you can see, it has pulled back. It's a meme coin. It's volatile. Okay, guys, but to the point where people are making memes based on the CEO just around the whole uh, AI narrative. Okay, guys, so... Um, that's something that's pretty bullish. Okay, guys. Now, many of you would have heard of GPU because GPU has been going absolutely crazy. Alex Becker has been talking about GPU or Node AI. You can see the charts been going absolutely crazy. So GPU-based AI coins have been pumping um, um, recently. All right, guys. But a narrative that people may have overlooked um, is uh, TPUs, cloud TPUs. Google Cloud has basically released a cloud tensor processing unit okay cloud tensor processing units it says here that cloud tpus optimize performance and cost for all ai workloads from training to in inference using world-class data center infrastructure tpus offer high reliability availability and security okay guys and it goes on to explain what a tensor processing unit is or a cloud tpu so this is going to be a slightly different from what we were used to with gpu okay guys so that could be a narrative that is that could actually go crazy all right guys there's two projects that i'm going to talk to you about in this video as well as some updates on some of the other ai projects that we've talked about all right guys so sticking with the cloud tpu narrative we have two tokens based on that narrative one slightly lower cap one slightly higher cap we'll start with the lower cap one that's cloud tpu this is one that i'm bullish on okay and i think that this one could do well just based on the, uh, the narrative okay so cloud tpu as you can see the chart is in a nice uptrend all right guys and going into the nvidia conference finding something like this i think is very you know th this could be a very good play in my opinion it's not financial advice um but yeah i really like this project the website is visually stunning as well and um, they do a good job with marketing it through the website and um, it's got people you know some good callers shouting it out on twitter and um, ultimately um, you know i think this one could do well just based on the narrative okay guys um, it is a very new project okay there's going to be risk involved um, but they have a they have a model okay um, so they have they can generate revenue through their uh you know the the cloud tpu uh rentals however this works all right guys and um, they've got a roadmap uh, which i recommend you taking a look at in your own time obviously do your own research but just based on a narrative is why i bought this particular token um because it's you know it's got cloud tpu in the name and um yeah the chart looks pretty good since it came out it actually came out uh literally um we're on march the 12th this came out on the 10th of march in the in the night time okay guys and since then it actually pumped all the way up to it's on a pullback at the moment but it pumped to just under 11 million so it is on a pullback to around 7 million 7.6 million at the time of recording this video you can see it's just had this spike uh, this price spike from just under five million dollars so it's clearly the volume is coming in clearly this one is still bullish all right, guys, and um, yeah, this is the really uh, CTPU and TPU 
um, are the, you know, that I mean, that's the compare. These are the two, I guess, competing with the TPU in their name. They've got the ticker TPU Tensor Space. A CTPU has a great ticker as well. But um, yeah, so this is another one. Is Tensor Space Tensor Space um, ticket is TPU. This one's sitting at sixty three million. I think this one launched with a pretty high market cap, which is being shouted out by some very big callers on Twitter as well. And it's got strong liquidity. Um, it's got a decent amount of volume and um, you know it's, it's still in an uptrend it's still in an uptrend and this chart actually does look bullish as well it is on a dip so it could be a good time to pick some of this up not financial advice um, but I think this one do, will do well as well just for the simple fact that it's got TPU in the name the website looks a little bit uh, more professional as well it, it does have a great website um, if we scroll through the website, right, they've got these different products, of course, Subnetics, AI Foundry, T Tensor Space, and Tensor Craft. Okay, if we scroll down, and they've got a nice little diagram there. Obviously, you guys can look at this in your own time because we've got a few tokens to get through in this video. So I don't want to spend too long on each token, right? But um, they do have a DAP as well. Uh, when you go into the DAP, this looks this looks very interesting as well okay guys so they've got lots of uh, lots going on on adapt and um yeah this one really caught my eye this one really caught my eye but again it's a slightly higher market cap i know you guys are looking for the lower market cap coins a lot of people want to be in before they hit 50 million 40 million 30 million they want to be in you know if possible below 10 million as we all do right but not every project you're going to get early you're not going to get every project at the beginning so sometimes it's better late than never uh, with these projects. But again, the website looks visually stunning. They've got a lot going on. Um, you know, if this is covered by some, you know, larger influencers, this could really, you know, get some great market share. Okay, with things like GPU sitting 124 million down from 189, 190 million. Okay, guys, can TPU reach that? It won't take much for that to do that. But CTPU, Cloud TPU, obviously this is at the lower end of the market cap. Okay, that would be a lot of X's from where we're sitting at right now. So I'm hoping that this one can do really well. So those are the two TPU projects um, um, in relation to the whole Google Cloud uh, TPUs. All right, guys, let's do an update on some of my favorite projects um uh in fact one we haven't spoken about uh we'll talk about in fact we'll talk about that now okay guys so blender uh, in fact i think i did cover it very briefly in another video but blender is one that looks really good okay they just released their white paper as well um i think it was the day before yesterday they released their white paper of course i recommend you go through that when you get some time do your own research all right guys but blender the chart is looking really good uh, this is also in the gpu narrative okay not tpu but gpu narrative okay guys um so it's gpu computing um scale scalability security and efficiency okay peer-to-peer -peer computing all right, guys, I'm not that technical, okay? I'm not that technical. I don't understand all the technologies behind this stuff, right? Um, I'm just playing the AI narrative when it comes to these projects. But the ones that stand out, the ones that get a lot of, you know, attention on Twitter, um, they're said to have a great team. They're attending the events like ETH Denver, um, um, NVIDIA, and things like that. They're getting into the NVIDIA program or Inception program or whatever it's called. Okay, guys, but these guys have also got into the Intel if we go to their Twitter, right? Um, they have, in fact, um, let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Where are we? So, so they're heading to NVIDIA, okay? And they've got into the Intel developer zone, okay? Many of you would have heard of Intel when it comes to computing, okay, guys? Um, not only that, but they recently just announced a listing on Bitmark, okay, guys? So that is very good, you know? I'm not seeing many AI projects being listed on Bitmart. This one's actually got the listing on Bitmart, which will be coming uh, coming out soon. All right, guys. So that will bring a lot more volume, a lot more eyes onto this project. It's sitting at a modest uh, for what it is, okay, because it's a very good project, okay. It's at 46 million. That's on a slight pullback, a slight pullback from its previous all-time high um, at around, I believe it's about 53, maybe it was 55 million, okay. 
Um, but yeah, this one's a great uh, buying opportunity, in my opinion, because as you can see, it's ranging in this level. Okay, it's, it's in an accumulation zone. It hasn't broken out and gone parabolic yet, like we see, for example, with GPU, for example, right? This is the range where, this is the range right here where Blender is in, okay? So I expect to see something like that. Maybe not, you know, this aggressive, who knows, right? Um, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Um, when people catch on to it, this one will really run, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, I really like Blender, Blender Network. They're doing everything right um, at, at the mean, in the meantime, right? So, you know, put that one on your radar, not financial advice, but definitely take a look at Blender Network. Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a quick update on NetTensor. Okay, so NetTensor it did have a little bit of fud and and it's held up well despite the fud. Okay, guys, this did actually pump all the way up to sixty plus million. Okay, we talked about this. Um, I bought this very low. Okay, guys, and because of the fud, I did take just a little bit of profit on the bounce. Okay, um, just to kind of minimize my risk because. I was really overexposed to this project at the end of the day it's a very degen high risk project but i'm still holding a very large position in this one in my opinion um this one will do well and we recently just saw just today on a live stream um superman um who's an og in crypto finding the you know the gems right he's actually talking about net tensor on a, a live stream um, how he thinks, you know, uh, making a price prediction on it and so on. Um, it seems that he's caught wind of the project and he likes the project enough to cover it. He's got a very large following. Okay, guys, so I think that's why we see this little uh, this little pump here, this little bounce. All right, guys, but this one for me is, is very good. Okay, they're actually doing an update on the website. Um, so we expect to see this change soon um, uh, and should hopefully look a lot better. But um, I think they're a bullish team. Okay, guys, uh, there was some FUD about them having a fake audit, which is actually not true. They have a audit with OX scans or zero X scans. Okay, if, in fact, if we go to Twitter and see if we can find the actual announcement from um, OX or zero X scans or what, whatever they're called, right? Uh, periodic uh, periodically, they're continuing to add liquidity, just like we highlighted before. Um, I haven't seen this. It looks like they're, we're proud to unveil our node services. So, uh, yeah, these guys are still building. Um, so, there's a tweet from OX Scans. Um, they, they addressed the FUD, uh, which I recommend you go and read that as well. But um, there was an official tweet from OX Scans, or is it 0x OX Scans AI? Um, and they basically addressed the FUD, okay? um but yeah if we click on the official tweet from OX scans you can see that they did actually tweet about it all right guys and it is the official account okay and they do have a um a real audit okay guys so it was just baseless fud um and you know i, I don't know why people do this stuff but you know it is what it is okay this is a very good project and they're building and they're, you know i think that this one goes higher at the end of the day all right guys and just to round off the video with my favorite AI project, that would be OPSEC. All right, guys, OPSEC is ranging very well. Despite the FUD that happened over here, it bounced back and it went back to all-time high. So, um, you know, I, I mean, what more can you ask for? Okay, back to all-time high. Um, you know, this one is a really good project. They had an AMA. Um, they had an AMA yesterday. I do recommend you check that out because that will make you a lot more bullish as well on um, on this project. Um, so if you go over to their Twitter, you can actually play the recording and listen to the AMA. All right, guys. Um, OPSEC, in my opinion, will be a top 20 potentially, right? Top 20 blue chip project, okay? They're also building a layer one blockchain. All right, if you haven't seen my videos on OPSEC, I do recommend you go and check them out. I'm super bullish on this project, all right, guys, and I really think that this one's going to do well. This one's going to be a leader in the AI stroke deep in space, right? Mark my words. Well, it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Okay, guys, and I believe that, you know, um, the more noise that they make, uh, you know, the, the, the more that they build, okay, this one's going to be one that people talk about. Okay, they're going to talk about it. Um, I didn't see this. What is this? They've got 
nodes in Avail now and Starknet. Um, we know that they partnered with Linear. Uh, they got people like Ops, uh, sorry, Optimism, uh, Celestia, like just huge projects collaborating with Opsec. Okay, guys. So you know you have to ask yourself the question: Does that translate into price action? It may not happen immediately, right? But when a bunch of capital floods into the market, right? Because you have to you have to think, right? We've got deep in, right? Opsec is deep in. So we know that he's going to pump with the deep in run. It's AI. So it pumps with the AI run. Okay, guys? What about when layer ones start to pump? Or layer twos? Or, you know, you, you know, th there's just so many avenues for OPSEC, you know, to fit in. So many narratives for OPSEC to fit in that I just believe that it runs and it trades higher than where it is at the moment in the very near future. Very, you know, in my opinion... It's a mid-term, mid to long-term hold, all right, guys? And, and this is a multi-cycle hold, in my opinion. Okay, guys, not financial advice, but um, that's how I feel about OPSEC, all right, guys? Well, so th that's really all I've got for you in this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. We have a Patreon link is in the description. Come and join us, all right, guys? So, and um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, uh, please subscribe, tick the little bell for notifications, like the video, and... Um, that's all I've got, so I'll see you in the next one.